item of evidence in life kifo cha wakili paul gisheru bado kimesalia kitendawili siku moja baada ya kupatikana amefariki kwake nyumbani he was not uh, you know he was not himself yeah he was in a stressful condition it appears at some stage and so on yeah um yeah, for that's what i'm able to gather I have been charged hadi kufariki kwake wakili gisheru alikuwa mshukiwa katika kesi ya mahakama ya kimataifa ya jinai ICC iliyoko jijini The Hague huko Uholanzi I inquired as to why he had left for The Hague but according to him he wanted to have to clear his own name and uh, he wanted to make sure that he is able to travel anywhere in the world without feeling that uh, um he was under a threat to be arrested aliyekuwa mkurugenzi wa mashtaka ICC Fatou Ben Souda alimtaja Gisheru kama aliyehitilafiana na ushahidi wa kesi za jinai dhidi ya Rais William Ruto na mwanahabari Joshua Rapsang if you may remember very well when he was giving evidence at ICC he never mentioned the name of anybody in authority adversely at all uh, i got the impression that he expected an acquittal yeah that's the impression that i got that he expected an acquittal. He did not expect to be convicted at all. Baada ya gasa za uchaguzi wa mwaka 2007, kesi dhidi ya Gisheru ilianza mwaka 2020 wakati alipojisalimisha katika mahakama hiyo, mahakama ya ICC ilitarajiwa kutoa uamuzi wake wa aidha kumfunga au kumwachilia huru baada ya kesi hiyo kukamilika kusikizwa Juni mwaka huu. Mawakili nchini wamemomboleza Gisheru. Give us in mind na K24 Nairobi.